What is going on? I'm Zedmot. We are going to be doing some operation attacks using that extra temporary gunboat ability. Right now we have the remote hack. Um, our operation was started before that came to play. Come on. Oh. Trying to get some classified items, struggling, struggling, struggling. I saw, actually saw someone who got one from right about there. You have a better chance the deeper you go, so we're going to go right into there. Now we're going to have a look at Cooker. Now, we started Massive Attack before the Remote Hack arrived. Should have started Forlorn Hope or Duplexity. Typically, during Remote Hack, go up a level. As you can see, my name is on that base. This is the easiest Cooker core hit I think I have ever ever seen. So typically on a cooker core hit, your bullet hits the shock mine or a scorcher. In this case, because of all these cannons, I'm going to use bullet. You have to shock these lasers. It's not a laser, obviously, which then saves your Zookas who are going to be sitting right about there. So don't have to shock any of those cannons, obviously. We have to shock these mortars over here, but there are no mortars down in here, so we don't have to shock anything on the bottom. Realistically, this is a one shock core hit because some cannons are going to get some zookas, but nothing else will. Every single laser will lock on the bullet, and if a couple cannons take a couple of our zookas, we really, really don't care. So we're looking at 1.25 million health. And we are going to go unboosted. I think I should be able to do that unboosted. We have 11 attacks left for Cooker and Minotaur. So let's have a look at Minotaur and see realistically. This is one more attack. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 shock. Anyone in our task force should be able to finish that. I'm going to get in and get Cooker going. Let's get into it. Anyways, what we're going to do here... Whoever set this up was incredibly, incredibly well done because as you can see, all of these shield gens are still sitting there untouched. Now, my only concern really is there's a couple boom mines over here, but besides that, don't really care. Uh, critters should clear all those mines. I did not check the level of the mines, so we're going to let our critters do a little bit of work here. All of our zookas are going to clean up all those things. Now I'm going to use one artillery to get rid of one of those cannons. Training three for three, always a good idea. Anytime you can trade three GBE to get rid of a building, especially one that's going to range your zookas, highly, highly recommend it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to fold our zookas. Folding zookas is the best way to get them grouped incredibly, incredibly tightly. Now, as soon as they start to fold on top of themselves, we're going to fold a uh, flare over into here. Now, we're going to let them get nice and low. And with the cooker core hit, the number one mistake I see is people don't flare all the way across. You need to flare all the way across. That way your Zookas never get to the flare and turn towards the core. Now, I just checked. We do have my favorite flare spot back here. I like to flare between these two cells, and then we're going to drop bullet. Now, that shock mine by the core is only level three, so that is a bit of a concern because that shock mine will expire if we let it. So I'm going to throw my Zooka Flare slightly earlier. Basically, before Bullet gets to that shock mine, I'm going to throw my Flare right about now. That gets all of our Zookas going, and then as soon as they're in position, we're going to Flare. Cannot mess around with this whatsoever. Now, here's the next big thing. When you throw your shocks on the right-hand side, don't shock any of the lasers Oh, we actually got into shock launcher range. A little bit surprising there. So by not shocking the lasers, it guarantees that when those shocks expire, you don't have to worry about it. Because if you shock the lasers like this, what happens is when those shocks expire, all the lasers target the closest, which ends up being the Zookas. So on the cooker core hit, avoid shocking the lasers and you'll get a couple extra shots in before those mortar balls land. So nice, easy cooker finish. I love, love that. When I first saw that, my mind absolutely exploded because all of those lasers locking onto bullet I did, honestly, the first time I saw that, I had no idea that lasers locked on. And that is the perfect, perfect example. And that shock mine's in the perfect spot because every single, like, look how close that one laser is to not locking on. And if that doesn't lock on, all of your Zookas will be toast. Now, the other thing to be aware of when doing this attack is I'm going to show you things right about, I'm going to show you, slow it down a little bit, right about here. 
you'll notice right now I've thrown that smoke and I've delayed my next two smokes. If you don't delay your next two smokes, it won't work and you'll be frustrated and you'll think you did everything perfectly, but lasers take like a quarter of a second to lock on. So by delaying those next smokes, now I didn't really need to, but I like to do it just because it's a little bit safer and we didn't have to throw a bunch of shocks. And then look at all of the fireworks, the lasers locking on, the core hit, all of the lasers making that wonderful, wonderful core hit look it's just beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, I love that attack and it blows your mind the first time you see it, um, but it's fairly easy to do once you understand it. Anyways, I will come back with more. I'm going to show every operation attack I do today and hopefully there is some entertainment or some education or somewhere in between. I'll be back in just a minute. Hit Number two, we're going to use this HQ-17 account. We are doing Sour Grapes here in Infant 9. Going to see what we can do here uh, with the remote hack on key, also known as Quay, the word that you don't want to ever have to pronounce, essentially. What we're going to do here is we are going to throw an artillery here and here, and then we are going to get all of our troops walking, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in one more moment. Need to get our troops into position first. You'll notice we have Everspark. That is not by accident. We have lost the delay as a result. Let's get rid of that laser over there. And then we shall walk all of our ladies into this spot slightly to the right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flare this rocket launcher. Uh-oh. And then Everspark, I'm going to hit the hack button. That's an easy, easy way. Uh-oh, don't. Oh, saved me big time. So that's an easy way to get Everspark to hack what you want is mark it and then fl flare something else and then mark what you want gone. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Um, you need to make sure that you throw the flare before you press the hack button. That is super, super critical. You throw the flare then you press the hack button. So Everspark targets the most damage defense, which is that shock launcher. Zookas target the rocket launcher. And that is the only way you want to use flares with hacks. Typically, flares with hacks are a big, big no-no. But I figured I'd show you a way to avoid the typical problems that come with it. I use that fairly consistently. Um, it tends to blow people's minds. The first time I saw that, um, I did not have any clue what the heck was going on because typically when you throw a flare with the hack, your troops all just stand there and watch. So you have to be very, very careful and the timing is super critical. If you have questions about that or if that doesn't make sense, by all means, let me know. Now what we're doing is we're farming gunboat energy because we want to get rid of that last rocket launcher. We are probably not going to finish this base because we lost Everspark ever so tragically there in the middle of the beach. But we can set this up for an easy finish. So all we're doing now is farming gunboat energy getting rid of a few defenses or one GB one building short of getting an extra shock which would have been incredibly helpful right about now need this building to go down so that we can keep clearing all this stuff shocking some things and uh, that's probably about gonna be it for this base now um, you might be saying well why didn't you do a core hit why didn't you just smoke your troops up and do like three shocks the reason is in lower level task forces if you screw up that core hit you end up with a base where now nothing has been accomplished so a lot of the time it's actually better to set the base up than go for the core unless you're a hundred percent cent certain you're going to get it so in this case people can just walk up that left side with everspark and some zookas and they'll lose probably like three troops getting rid of sniper tower cannons boom cannons cannons and then they'll have lots and lots of GBE to shock the flamethrowers, and that core will go down very, very easily. So this will go down in two, and any time you can get an operation to go down in two is usually pretty darn awesome, unless you're in a five-person task force, of course. Anyways, that is hit number two. Let me know if you have any comments, questions. I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, this is my Code Z mod account. I am sitting in a random task force full of players who don't really attack operations, as you can see here. They're just getting easy takedowns. Uh, six attacks, 
on Tinderbox, and they have a total of 10 people. So um, not super active, but just I like to join random task forces. So as always, if you're looking for someone to join, throw me a message. I'm going to try and take down Mercury. Haven't even looked at it, but just trying to get the one with the most points because I find that is the most helpful and shock blasters and boom cannons and things may be somewhat difficult for players who like to use tanks. Remote hack, remote hack, remote hack. That is all we need for this base. Then we can drop all of our troops over here on the right hand side. I do have the Zooka speed tribe just for reference if you're wondering why my Zookas are running ridiculously, ridiculously fast. And that should get us into the back here. And I mean, Smoking into 12 o'clock of the core, or 3, 2, 15 of the core, however you want to call that, there's many ways to t tell, um, explain which part of the core you're after, is is possible for sure. We're just going to get rid of the rocket launchers, though. We're going to use all this gunboat energy at the very back to get rid of that mortar and to get rid of the rocket launchers. Now, just a reminder, you do lose the delay when you use the remote hack, but... As long as you get rid of all the stuff that is going to be worried about the delay, doesn't matter. And also, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say the words delay, <laughs> please let me know because um, by now every single one should know what the heck the word delay means. Now, I could probably close the game and we would take this down at this point. All of our troops would just eventually get towards the core. But we're going to throw a few critters. Look how far those critters have to go. Look how high. By the time they've arrived, the shock launch... I mean, the... Um, what are those things called? Sniper tower is already gone. Lots and lots of critters. Um, I guess we can get rid of a boom cannon. Really, getting rid of a boom cannon, not the best use of the remote hack, unless you are a tank user. But... Um, um, what do they call them? Squishy troops don't care about boom cannons. We're losing like one troop at a time. Not a big concern whatsoever. Would have been far, far better to get rid of that machine gun. Just going to let our keep troops keep walking, see just how many of these remote hacks we can get out in one attack. So far, I think we're at six. I think it goes up by 10 gunboat energy per attack. Let's hopefully get at least one. I guess we don't want to fail is the other thing, but uh, more importantly, let's get one more remote hack there we go number seven we're gonna pull our troops back into here because there's no way we're gonna get number eight and then i suppose we can just throw an artillery to get rid of that boom cannon i guess we're gonna have to throw two and down goes mercury definitely not an, a hard operation attack but just showing that um using Zooka is usually the right answer especially against single shot buildings like cannons boom cannons sniper towers stuff like that anyways that was an easy one more of an entertainment than anything helping out random task force get a few extra diamonds in their operation rewards i'll be back in just a moment with some more Okay, this is going to be a bit more interesting. HQ18 doing dead end. I am going to boost some statues, mostly to get some extra gunboat energy because those remote hacks are kind of expensive. And we're going to boost... You know what? Let's just full boost. There's no reason why not to. Uh, eight statue boost, HQ18. Let's have a look at high five. High five is typically fairly difficult because you have to use lots of gunboat energy to get rid of that rocket launcher we've got an extra semo in here which is going to be slightly on the annoying side shock launcher means we have to go up a little bit and the other option is we can finish from up in this corner up here which takes a bit more work but i mean we've got all of the tools we need to get this down so let's oh whew. I said that, but we didn't have all the tools we needed. I am going to bring Miss Everspark simply because I like to go... Like, if we look in the bottom left corner, there are a whole bunch of machine guns down here. Uh, there's only one machine gun up here. So going to this right-hand side looks a little bit better. Um, we should be able to just do one shock to get the rocket launcher, machine gun, and flamethrower. And then Ever Everspark will keep throwing critters, and we should be golden. Now, we're going to get rid of this stuff. Um, don't need to get rid of any other mines, I don't believe. So 
let's just get into it, see if we can't solo high five on dead end. Now, again, um, this is going to be incredibly useful getting rid of that building. Getting rid of the SEMO means that all of our troops should, uh oh, did not notice the fact that there's a rocket launcher out to the side. There's always a rocket launcher out to that side. For some reason, I did not notice it though. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna flare right into there and then I'm gonna get all of our troops walking. Now, I can't remember if I've boosted the Zooka Speed Tribe or not, but I'm a little bit concerned about that shock mine over there, so we're gonna clear that. Then we're gonna keep all of our ladies walking. Now, there's a, you can shortcut things a little bit by skipping that last, last smoke. Now that our troops are in position, we're gonna get rid because we know we've got enough gunboat energy. And now it's just shock. One shock should get all of this stuff. Definitely need to get rid of those mines back there. But otherwise, just clearing all of the things. This should be a solo. I can't see any reason why it shouldn't be except for that. Oh, I am just living way too close to the edge here. Let's get rid of that right in there. Need that rocket launcher to go down. And now we can pull, you know what? Don't have to move at all. So now we are absolutely golden as far as where all our troops are standing, getting rid of those cannons ever so slowly. And now it's just burn, burn, burn. So typically on high five, you tend to go to the left-hand side. I like to go to the right on occasion because as you can see here, all is well in the world by going to that right-hand side. So. Do consider going to the right-hand side on occasion on high five, especially when you have the remote hack. Um, got a little bit lucky that there's no shock launcher where that machine gun is, and there's no shock launcher at shore where that mortar is. So definitely a different sort of high five. That SEMO would have made things very, very difficult for us. Um, I made things a little bit difficult by not clearing the mines properly and not smoking properly, but overall, huge huge hq18 solo on dead end anytime i can get a solo on dead end or higher using my hq18 account it feels pretty darn good you can do it unboosted a whole bunch of times as well but in this case i think i boosted the right amount maybe could have boosted one fewer troop damage statues maybe even two because we should have lots of time on the clock but uh pretty happy with that that's uh i would give that like a b plus on the old task force scale no cannons shooting our Zookas, no machine guns shooting our Zookas. We're just free sniping this thing from three o'clock. That was how you would call that if you used a uh, core clock. And I would call this about 1.30. So many, many ways to talk about the core clock, as I mentioned, but big solo using HQ-18 on dead end. Hopefully you like that. Hopefully something about that was interesting or neat. I'll be back with a couple more operation attacks very, very soon. Okay, I said we were coming back with more. We have definitely got some more for you. Now, I am going to go full 11 statue boost because I have... My old nemesis. I guess it's only a 10 statue boost because I wasted a statue on that resource reward. This is, resource reward is probably going to kill me. I should probably place an extra troop damage. But realistically, the attack that I'm about to do has like a 1% chance of working. So is that hyped up enough for you? Let me just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten statue boost. Uh, we have got Miss Brick loaded. I've got one boat of bombardiers. We are going to look at Rogue. There is a 1% chance that I can solo Rogue here at best. Absolutely at best. The reason for that is we have the remote hack. We can get rid of that rocket launcher, that rocket launcher, sit behind that one, and then just pound, ground, and pound. Let me just check what level statue boost I have on my Zookas. Zookas are going to run incredibly quickly. They're going to beat Brick to the spot. It's going to be super awkward, which is going to be a problem. I had not thought of that. So uh, the mines are going to be an absolute problem, but we can drop Mr. Bombardier right in here, pick up some free gunboat energy. Then we're going to hack you and 
After that's done, we are going to hack you. I am going to throw some critters onto those mines. I'm going to throw a barrage onto those mines. And then we are going to throw a barrage onto all of these mines in this back, back, back spot. Um, now we just need to get all of our troops moving here in a second. This is... I've never done this walk in this manner, simply because my Zookas are going to be walking incredibly fast. And I'm actually going to keep my Bombardiers alive if possible, because they should walk around the same speed as our Zookas. Probably should have tested this on a... Um, what is that called? That is called a friendly challenge. Anyways, we're going to get all of our troops walking into here. I'm going to drop my Zookas around the same time. We're going to have to drop uh, Miss Brick here as well. And then we're going to get going right into there. Like that, all of those rocket launchers have already turned. So we're about to lose some Zookas for sure. But not sure if we can get there or not. Just super, super awkward trying to do this walk at extra fast speed. Can we get there? Yeah, I think so. As uh, someone from some kids show once said, this is going to be super duper tough getting all of these ladies to not die. Where the heck is Brick? Brick is coming along. Then we're going to go one and two. Just don't die. Please don't die. Trying to get all of them into position. Get away from that smoke. Get moving. Oh, they're not going to make it. So now the problem is... All of our ladies have almost died, but we should be able to clear all of this spot back here. The Bombardiers did not make it. Zookas barely made it. Now we just need one more. Sh nope, no more shock. So now we're just going to sit here and pound and pound away, setting up Rogue for an easy finish. You know what? I'm tempted to get rid of this rocket launcher right here because the next hitter will have slightly more room as a result. Brick did not make it, so we're not going to get that battle orders. Um, you see what I mean about getting that rogue solo? Now, the speed of the Zookas definitely did not help us. That was a bit of a craziness. I have never tried to walk Zookas uh, that far amongst all of those buildings and awkwardness with Brick and with Bombardiers. But, uh, I mean, we're going to get a bunch of damage done. Not entirely certain whether or not the speed boost actually helps the Zookas shoot any faster. Um, watching that one Zooka on the left-hand side, looks like she's shooting slightly faster than once every two seconds, so they might be doing a little bit extra damage. You know what? The shield is actually moving. We've got a couple Zookas there. We've got, what is that, nine... 17, 26, 33, 44, 55, 64 Zookas pounding away, and we're doing a sizable amount of damage. Can you imagine if we can pull off a rogue solo with that janky, janky attack? Um, I don't know that it's going to happen, but it's going to come reasonably close and now i really hope i don't regret using that gunboat energy to get rid of that rocket launcher if it comes down to just a barrage or just a bunch of artillery i'm going to be very very sad i don't think that's going to happen came somewhat close to a rogue solo though that's, that's probably the closest i've come since bullet got nerfed back before when bullet was not nerfed there was definitely definitely um a lot more chances of pulling this off but we burned i think that core was 19 million and i'm gonna guess we burned i'm gonna say we burned six there's gonna be three million left on that core um maybe actually you know what i'm gonna say less than three million we did pretty darn well rogue's gonna go down in two not that bad at all let's have a quick little peeky peek see what we managed to do um so it had 19 million just above. Look at that. We're at 3.3 million left on that shield. So remember how I said that resource reward statue? If we had gotten rid of that, that would have been a rogue solo. And that is exactly why I don't waste statues on resource reward. A little bit frustrating, a little bit saddening, but still pretty decent attack. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll be back with just one more attack. I think that's the plan anyways. I shall talk to you soon. Stick around. Okay, for our last hit of the day, it's going to be on Forlorn Hope. This is going to be with my main account. This account has five troop damage, six GBE, no wasting statues on resource reward. Now, 
this account actually is farther ahead in the upgrades as well. As you can see here, I have got level 24 landing crafts for all but one. Hoping to get that last landing craft today using the extra resources from the trader and our good friend, Mr. Imitation Game. A little bit of a brain shutdown there. On, and as you can see, my statues here are not perfect, but that is okay. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven statues boosted, and we're gonna need them because I'm gonna try another solo. And this solo is one that I have, I don't think I've ever even seen one. Uh, I'm sure there has been one, it's, it's not impossible. I'm going to try and solo our good friend Strategize. Um, typically takes three to four attacks. We have the remote hack. My goal is to do a free snipe on this right hand side. There's My thinking is all these flamethrowers are going to help us. Now, what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to remote hack this. I'm going to remote hack this rocket launcher. And then I'm going to remote hack these two shock launchers. Maybe. My thinking is by doing that, all it is is one shock on this set of five rocket launchers and I can just clear into all of that stuff. Whether or not that's going to work or not is yet to be determined. Just have to be aware of the range of that grappler. Should be able to spread my bombardiers out, get all of this stuff. And the shield is only about 11 million so we should be able to get that down. Uh, and then we're going to get two of the shields on the right hand side which will bring that down by about, what's that, a sixth? So, or a third I should say. So it's going to be interesting, it's going to be fun, and whether it works or not, we're going to find out. So we're going to get Miss Everspark involved, and let's get going. We're going to get all of our troops dropped, first of all. That is our first task. We need to get our troops going. We need to get all of our bombardiers clearing some things, and then we're going to get our remote hacks going. That is going to be crucial, crucial, crucial. So need to get all of our now that, those, now that those bombardiers have cleared a little bit of space at the front i'm going to drop a couple more we're going to drop some critters over on this right hand side then we're going to keep getting into that right hand side getting rid of all sorts of junk everspark is providing a whole bunch of critters for us those critters should clear all sorts of mines for us and then soon enough hopefully that shock launcher goes down it came very close to going down and now we're hopefully going to be able to also distract that boom cannon by getting all sorts of shots in on that back back um, shock launcher there but it looks like I definitely did not compensate for the fact that our critters are going to be distracting some things so we need to shock there now we need to throw a shock right about there get that shock launcher down we have lost quite a few troops at this point but we still have lots and lots of gunboat energy left and we're still moving forward getting all of this stuff down is going to be very very difficult but there is still a chance so now all we need to do is move over into that right hand side and we should be able to get where should i even go should i you know what? I'm just going to let my bombardiers move forward. That's all we're going to do. I'm going to get these shocks still pumping out, hoping that we can get all of these rocket launchers down. Um, Everspark going to be... We're not going to get another shock. So this is going to be a massive, massive problem here. Need to get med kits. Need to get all of this stuff going. And I don't... Oh, med kits, not quite enough. That is for darn sure. But we came, you know what? We we are in position for the strategize solo. Med kits managed to get us into a position where we can maybe, just maybe pull this off. Need to pull a little bit down to the south so we don't get into range of those shock launchers. And now it is all about the strategize solo attempt so we just 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 missed the rogue solo attempt and that was all thanks to statue problems and now we're just pounding away at this core we've got a minute 27 left and i don't think we're going to be able to pull it off um we don't have quite enough damage that shock launcher at the back used a whole bunch of our gunboat energy did not anticipate the fact that my critters and troops would be distracting that boom cannon but at the very, very worst, we've got strategized down in an easy, easy two. So 
that is going to be the end of this video. Let me know in the comments which of these attacks you liked the best, which was the most entertaining, which was the most educational. And more importantly, let me know if you like pineapple on your pizza. If you do, throw the pineapple emoji in chat. And if you don't, throw the pizza emoji in chat because that is one of the most controversial topics in our world today. And we almost pulled off the strategize solo. So you can see that had I have done everything right, that would have worked. Everspark, probably not the right hero for that. If we would have had Brick, we would have had a little bit more damage, but it's not going to go down. So what I'm going to do at this point is as soon as we get within a few seconds or so, I'm going to clear a couple more mines, just trying to set it up for the next person so that they don't have to barrage mines. Or I'm going to end up killing probably a couple of my bombardiers but we might as well get rid of these mines just hoping to save our next attacker from having to worry about that stuff. So, strategize all most solo lost far far too many troops otherwise it would have gone down for sure. As always, have a fantastic Labor Day long weekend if that is celebrated where you are and if not then hopefully this video finds you happy, healthy and home and all that sort of good stuff. Thank you for coming in, commenting, liking, subscribing, clicking that bell, all that good stuff. I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmot. Peace.